fact that I may be the voice of my generation, or at least a voice of a generation. Will the creator of HBO's hit show Girls be the voice of her, of her generation with her new book? If so, she will join some illustrious company. Stephanie Cohen has been writing about this for us at the Wall Street Journal. For people who don't watch the show Girls, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about what the plot is and then about this book deal that, that the star has signed. Well, the show Girls kind of describes the humiliating <laughs> life of being, you know, a 20-something broke New York woman who you know has great dreams of becoming as the clip showed you know the voice of her generation right. and um, just you know really cute and funny and people are loving it but now um, other industries are trying to sort of tap, into, tap that. into that yeah so she just signed this um, 3.5 million dollar she being Lena Dunham who's yeah. the creator 3.5 million dollars right? yeah yeah with Random House is that correct right and this will be a book about basically what it's like to be a young woman I mean it's her thoughts about being a young woman right and being a, and being the voice of her generation right which she says mockingly but she's kind of becoming that I mean people are really identifying with her and um, well we'll see how much because we'll see if the book you know makes back this huge advance which We'll see, we'll see on that. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. They're betting big because if you look at some of the past authors who you've been looking into who have become voices of their generation, when they hit it and they hit a note, they're, they hit it right on and they sell big. I mean, let's talk a little bit about some of them. I mean, F. F. Scott Fitzgerald a little bit. Well, he, he actually, it's, it's funny, it's a weird term because he is now considered a voice of a generation he, and he's really closely identified with the jazz age, but he's an example of how that pressure can kind of get to you. I mean, he you know, was a terrible alcoholic. And, and he published The Great Gatsby at age 29. That's very early. Well, that's one of the, the yeah. prerequisites to being a voice of a generation, it seems. You have to be basically under 30. Under 30 to do it. Right, and then you can tap into that whole youth market, and the publishers love that, so. Jack Kerouac was another. He wrote On the Road, uh, and he became, sort of, he pioneered the beat generation. This was another one. Yeah, and he's a good example because he's the voice of every generation. It's every 20-something mm -hmm. identifies with him. I feel like you have to read it the minute you, you know, your first day of college, you have to buy the book. And many others uh, from Joyce Maynard, Jay McInerney, Elizabeth Wurzel. You explore more of these in your piece, and that is in the paper today and also online on WSJ.com. Stephanie Cohen, we love having you. Thanks so much for being here.